I think the most challenging aspect of rewriting your own work, and, and, and it's oft been said that you know writing is rewriting, and it's true, a lot of beginning writers will finish their draft and say, it's great, it's perfect, and it's not. I mean, I find that you know a script after four or five drafts will get quite good, and then you reach a law of diminishing returns after that. Obviously, scripts get better, with, you know, but endlessly rewriting a script probably, to me, is a way of digging yourself further and further into a hole. Uh, I, I think if it's good, there'll be something good in it after two drafts. And if you're still scratching away after ten drafts, I think you should probably write on a different one. Yeah. I mean, you give somebody your script, you want them to tell you how great it is. Everybody, every, it doesn't matter. You can tell people, people send me scripts, and I go, look, you really don't want me to read your script because I'm really mean, and I'm not going to, I'm going to, uh, there's only one, I found out there's only one way to do it. I can't not tell you exactly what I think about it. And everyone goes, oh, yes, 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 this is what I want to know. And they don't. You, n mostly they don't. Mostly you want to hear how great you are. You want affirmation. Um, it takes a lot of um, time to learn how to take notes and um, how to get the benefit out of them, um, how to take notes from people that you really respect, how to take notes from people that you despise um, and don't respect at all. When you're starting out, of course, you're going to want to take notes because you think that's what makes people happy. What you don't realize is that very often people don't believe in the notes they're giving. They're giving you notes because what they hope it will do is stimulate you to think deeper, more deeply about, about the project. And so sometimes notes are a way of giving you a jolt. And it may be that they want you to, they think they want you to, give you, to answer the note that they've given you, but they're not writers, the people giving you the notes. So I think what they really just want is to stimulate you. Sometimes the solution that is offered is ludicrous but the problem that they're pointing out is a valid problem and you have to try to look beyond the idiocy of the solution you're being offered and think oh but people keep on bumping on this so maybe it is a problem there's a saying if enough people you say you're drunk maybe you should lie down and i found that if if you get the same note even if the solution is different from four or five different people then it it's not them it's you or it's your script i tend to try to pick the person I think is going to give you the best notes and really focus on them because quite often particularly on a studio movie you're going to get notes from you know half a dozen people if, if, if not more. In a practical sense it's it the most challenging thing is often keeping the many people involved um, happy and protecting the script. Your job is to protect it and being both open to collaboration and protective is a sometimes delicate dan dance. But your job is to protect that story. It's hard to remember sometimes if you work on something too long. It's a benefit of working quickly. If you work on something for too long, something that was really exciting and cool, you forget what it's, what's cool after a long time. Your idea that was so exciting, you've looked at it a thousand times and it's not that cool anymore. And, 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 and you need to finish or you need to get an outside reader or you need to move to another phase of the process before you really remember how cool it was. Each draft you write, obviously, it gets more and more. You, you do lose some enthusiasm and impetus and whatever, but, but, but what happens is when the film gets green lit, or when actors come on, there's a whole extra energy. Uh, and, and that's something I've sort of always fed off, is, is the excitement of something suddenly turning from what's on the page to becoming real. Because a script isn't a novel. Uh, it's a blueprint for a finished film. Um, there are, you know, practical considerations. Sometimes it's too expensive. Sometimes you lose a location. Sometimes an actor can't do the scene. Sometimes an actor gets sick. Sometimes the actor is fired in the middle of the movie. I mean, sometimes an actor dies. I've had all of those things happen to me uh, while I was writing a script. So, so the outside world impinges upon your story. I think the truth of the matter is my experience and advice if you are a writer and if you're writing films that are quite personal like I do is to stick very close to try and have some kind of agreement with the director that you can be part of the whole process I can't quite imagine the process in any other way so that in my films I've always been there while they're being cast I've been there while they're being shot uh, I've been there while they're being edited while they're being tested another thing I'd recommend is to spend some time in an editing room as a screenwriter because I think you learn a lot about what's needed and what's not and what gets thrown out and um, and, and that's that's another if, if, if a screenwriter can get a chance to just watch a film being cut and spend 
you know, days there. I'd sort of really advise people starting out to be incredibly patient, um, to keep writing, not to wait for that first script to get commissioned and made, but, but you know, send it out there into the world and, and hope for the best, but in the meantime, move on to the next one. Key thing is love and mercy on yourself. Uh, insofar as if I write for a day and I tend to write 20 or 30 pages a day and there's something good in a third of a page I would consider that a triumphant day I just think I can't believe I've got I've got that I think that's going to be right now often I'm wrong but that's for me a good day and I think when people start writing they often will read the 30 pages and say it's all shit there's that one bit that might be all right but it's it's rubbish and that sense of knowing that you're only going uh, to need a little bit of what you do and if anything that you do which is good is a great victory if it's something that might eventually at the end of the process still be there so I would say love and mercy might be there <laughs>